Hello everyone, I'm So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Gungeon, this time with face cam. And I figured I'd start doing a little face cam here and there. I am moving to a new house pretty soon, so I will set up the green screen so I make it look all nice. But for now, you get to enjoy my very bland background. And in this episode, we're going to jump in with the convict. She is the last one for us to get the true ending with. So let's go ahead and start as her. I like her little hair swipe. Makes her feel beautiful. And let's talk to these guys. I want to see what I have to get. 30 lead maiden. <laughs> that is tough. And typically I would use the elevator. Because her weapons are okay. And I'd start on like floor 2. Maybe floor 3. But I'm going to start on floor 1 this time. Because I'm going to look to go to the sewer. And what do you got? Plunger. Fossilized gun. Napalm strike. And we're going to eventually do one of these runs. The Blessing Run. It's only six, so it's not bad. But for now, we're just going to hold off on that. We got a lot of credits, and I do want to pay the elevator guy on the fifth floor some credits. If I can. I think it's probably 25, maybe 30. I could be wrong. So, floor number one. Keep of the Lead Lord. Lead Lord, probably. Lead Lord. And you guys have seen this a million times, but I've just been bringing you guys the endings recently, so I figured I'd bring you a, a full kind of playthrough here. We'll split it up into some parts. And I thought the face cam would be interesting since I'm actually clean. I took a shower. I take one of those every three months. It's good to take it at least every three months. That way you don't get all that funk all in your privates and stuff. And... I thought it was a good idea, just because I focus a lot on the game in this game. So sometimes I just don't speak, and you guys can look at my face if you want to. You can look at my face being like, Duh! Or sometimes I rock the, the Jordan with the tongue out. Sometimes I do that. So you have that to look forward to. And the Convict, my least favorite. I don't like her starter weapon. The shotgun, you gotta be too close for comfort. This pistol sucks. Put it in plain English for you guys. It absolutely is terrible. But we're gonna do it. Although I have been failing recently. Whoa. I'm also looking for little bullet guys here with capes. I've only found one so far. And if you let five of them live, you get to be the bullet guy. And we also have to unlock the TV guy as well. So here we are in this room already. Look at these. Wow, the chicken just disappeared. What the heck? That was super weird. Alright, so we already have the water in here, which makes it pretty convenient for us. So right about... Oh yeah. And perfect. The perfect roll. Where did that go? Okay, that's way down there to the left. I need two keys to get in with her. Now, I'm not necessarily going to go in because I need items with her to beat the actual game. And I'm going to try to beat the game first. Actually, I'm going to teleport back there. We'll go down. We'll continue downward. So my number one goal is to beat the game. Ooh, a secret room in there. I didn't want to use a blank so early, but it's kind of in a pickle. It's not good being in a pickle. It would be worse to be in a cucumber. At least, in my opinion. I like pickles better than cucumbers. Let's roll this on up. Aw, oh, I was hoping they would kill themselves. But we were not that lucky. Oh, I hope this isn't locked. So this is a secret room. It's got a brown chest. It's not locked. It's not a mimic. And it's a heart. So we have that if we need it. Not worth the blank, in my opinion. At least on the first floor. Ooh, AK Ghost right away. We're busting out the challenge. Alright, this guy should blow up, so I gotta be careful for that. Nope, he did not. What do we have here? Bullet with the bandana. He's in the bullet gang. Oh, really? Okay, at least we got that heart. I did not expect the grenade to ricochet so far. Usually it doesn't. 
that was quite the unique circumstance there. But anything can happen in the gungeon. Okay, there's a shopkeep. Might as well go grab this right away. Nice. Nice. Those gaps sometimes are a breath holder. Feels good to get by them without falling in the water. Although we could use a swim. Rinse off. Alright, so how do we get to the shopkeep? I'm guessing down. So let's go down. If I go in there before I find a key on this map, he should give me a key. Okay, we avoided that. Very nice. That guy killed himself. Those guys killed themselves. And the last one is mine. Flip it. This flipping it makes me feel good. You guys ever do like a backflip or anything? Let me know in the comments. I was always super scared to do that stuff. I did the running wall one one time and I like barely landed it and I was like, oh, never again, never again. Why did I agree to do this? I think it was a truth or dare. It was either do that or tell them my cup size. And I'm proud of my cup size now, but back then, oh, they just weren't as big. All right, so two armor and the key, like I told you guys. And what do we have here? This guy. He wants my junk. All my junk in my trunk. You want my junk in my trunk? Yeah, you do. Don't blame him, though. The junk in the trunk is nice. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, I will also improve the lighting and everything once I move into my new house and get the green screen set up behind me. I'm gonna get a portable one that I can move in and out real quick. Give the green screen the old in and out, in and out, if you know what I mean. Eh, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Anyways, we got a hopefully good chest to find. We got nothing but poopy brown so far. Poopy brown looks like poop cause it's brown and you don't wanna touch it. But I will, if I have to, cause it's poopy, goodness inside. So far, no capes. No capes. I want them capes. I want to play as a little bullet guy. He gets a sword right away and it's like, isn't it ironic? Whoa. I knew that was a mimic. No lock? For sure, mimic. I don't even want to mess with this guy. I'm going to play this guy like a coward. Oh, I had to blank that. This run might be doomed. They're hooking me up with like awful stuff. We might have to just go to the sewers. Ah! Nice. Ah! Oh, little bomber. <laughs> More like little pooper. That stinks. The gun's okay for damage, but I don't like it. I don't like charge weapons in this game. Not a fan. One bird in there. Oh. They're hooking me up with the browns. Oh, nice. Table tech. Sight. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let me look at this one real quick. I'm occasionally going to be looking to my left because that's where my webcam is recording over there just to make sure everything is still going. I also do have the audio rolling, just in case something screws up. Alright. Okay, that's not bad. I'll shoot three bullets instead of the one. It's not bad at all. Okay, so I don't have a gun. Which Actually, I have a little bomber. I guess we could do this. I don't really want to waste a key... On that brown chest. Should I shoot it? Or should I wait? Hmm. Hmm. We'll fight the boss. Let's see what happens here. I got a cocktail and I got the bomber. Trigger twins. Burn! Burn! 
Reload. This little bomber does a lot of damage, which is pretty nice. As long as I can hit them. And it also gets rid of bullets, which is cool. Oh, come on. Sometimes it just doesn't release. I need it to release. Release. There we go. Gotta charge it all the way. Reload! There we go. Oh, this guy's mad at me because I killed his brother. Don't worry. You will join him soon. As soon as I can... Get my little bomber game on here. A little bit slow with it. There we go. Flawless victory, baby. And it gave me a key. Nice. Alright. So, what we are going to do now is go here. We are going to get the other key. We're going to open up that poofy brown chest. We're going to buy armor for... Downstairs. Actually, we might keep the key. Cuz... Yeah, let's shoot the poopy brown chest. The reason we're gonna keep the key is because there's gonna be a door to open down there for the crest. And then we could go fight the old king. I'm yet to beat the old king. I've made it there a few times. But I'm yet to beat him. And we got a decent weapon for the actual floor down there. So I'd rather just shoot this. And it gave me junk. That's alright. Because we can sell it to this dude right away. This dude that wants my junk, wants my junk. Alright. Here you go, bruh. Take my junk. Used to get a lot more money for junk. And the sewer is right down here. So next time, we are gonna go visit the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turd Bulls. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want more awesomeness, click on the video and subscribe to my co-op channel. Also, huge thanks to my supporters at Patreon. You guys not only help the channel, but me in so many ways, and I am extremely grateful. And if you want to become a fellow patron, check out the link in the description below. There are some pretty cool rewards, including getting your name in the credits here, and also being able to request a game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.